Hey folks, it's Ping out here today at Glen Helen Raceway, and uh, we are here today with Dunlop, and we're gonna go through all of their motocross tire offerings and try to give you guys a little bit of a foundation on what each tread pattern is designed for, tires that pair well together, uh, some different tips and strategies for why you would pick one over the other. So uh, we're gonna start with soft terrain. Uh, this line starts with the MX-14, okay, at the softest end, sand, mud, but they made a lot of changes to the design of this tire to where it works really well on medium terrain surfaces now as well. Something about its predecessor, uh, great straight line stability, didn't do super great under braking, and when it got a hard base underneath it, man, it was, it was very, very slick. This MX-14 has really improved in the way it is able to perform in uh, soft to medium. And you'll notice that Eli Tomac is running this often, even when you, it's probably a mistake. Uh, Bud's Creek last year comes to mind at the National in uh, 2022. Some really hard, shiny spots. He was still racing with it and probably giving up a little bit here and there, but the straight line traction is so good, and which a lot of times the start is what you're looking for, that he's willing to make that sacrifice. So uh, great tire from medium to soft terrain and anything in there. This is the tire you want. What do you pair that with? Uh, we've got the MX33F. This is sort of the, the standard soft to medium front. And the other option you have is the MX3S. What's the difference? Uh, they used to have 3S front and rear. They got rid of both of them, replaced it with the 33 line, but so many people wanted that 3S line back, they brought the front back. That was basically, at the time, a race spec tire. Okay, and the, the difference between the 33 and the 3S, the 33 is a customer tire. It's meant to have a longer life. Where the 3S is more of a race tire, it's gonna be better bite, better traction for your front end, but it's gonna wear out quickly. It almost wears out as fast as your rear. So every time you change a rear, you're gonna have to change that front. Uh, the trade-off is performance. You're gonna get better bite with that front tire, okay? But a lot of people don't wanna be buying fronts and rears together every time. With a 33, about every two rears, you get, get a new front. It's sort of the, kind of the standard, right? A lot of it depends on how you ride. Uh, but that would be the trade-off, and that's why that's what the 3S is. I think there's a lot of confusion about what that tire is for. It's still medium. For me, it's medium to soft to hard. It, it really covers everything pretty well, especially soft side. When you get to more hard pack, the 53 is better. But it, it works really well down to even a pretty hard base. So the 3S, to me, your best all-around front for performance. As far as durability and value, the 33 is probably a better fit. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're out just weekend warrior cruising and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on tires, the 33 is a better fit for you. If you're all about racing and performance and the best grip possible, the 3S is what you're going to want. And we'll talk a little bit about that after we ride them all today. So these are your soft tire options. Um, you can pair really any of these together and they'll work great. All right, our second group of tires, we're going to talk about medium terrain, okay? And the standard here is the MX-33 rear. And this tire, really is the is the do-it-all tire right so if you're riding some hard pack all the way to sand this tire works great all, all across the range uh, replace the 3s rear which just like i said those were race spec tires they chunked a little bit and, and we wear out too quickly so this is a great tire will handle all of your needs no matter what you're riding on okay if, if you're looking for the very best performance there's better the 14 does better in soft sand and soft loam the 53 does better when it's very, very hard pack. Okay, or clay, sticky, tacky, but very, very hard. Um, so those are the options there, but this is kind of the do-it-all tire. Because of that, you really have your choice of any front to go with it. So uh, I really like the 53 front with the 33 in Southern California because we get a lot of hard base. Uh, sometimes in the morning it's loose, like here today at Glen Helen, a little loose in the morning. I would prefer a 3S 14, which is what we're going to start with when we ride today, but by probably 10, 10, 30, that loose stuff gets blown off, you're down to that hard base, and I like the 53 front with a 33 rear. And that's what I'll stick with throughout the day here because it is such a, a broad range. The 53 front works awesome in hard, hard pack, blue groove dry, or really hard pack, tacky, sticky dirt. Uh, particularly if it gets rutted, the 33 and the 3S front tend to climb out of ruts a little more. Just more aggressive side knobs, that's what happens. The way this is designed, uh, the lower profile knobs and a, a stiffer carcass, it doesn't roll coming into turn. So if you're loading it really hard coming into a corner, it'll hold better. 
And if you're going through sticky ruts, it'll just follow it around like a slot car. Doesn't want to stand you up. Okay, so that's the, those are the things I really like about the 53. Now with this 33 rear, you can also go to the MX-33. Great fit as well. They're obviously designed to work together and will work well on a pretty wide range of stuff. Designed for mostly medium and soft though, all right? And then you've got the 3S, which as I mentioned earlier, race spec tire, gonna perform really well, soft, medium, and into hard, uh, but is gonna wear out, especially if you start running it on hard soil, it's gonna wear out quickly, very, very quickly. So just be aware of that. Uh, so this is your medium range of tires. All right, and then finally, your complement of tires for hard pack terrain, MX-53 rear, which pairs with obviously a 53 front and also the 3S front. So I'll, I'll just say this once again on the 3S, great performance. You're gonna wear it out quickly, especially on the hard stuff. But if you're in a place where you're going from medium and maybe it gets hard at the end of the day, it's a great tire. Um, I would say that it works better when there's more loose stuff over the hard pack or they water. That's when the 3S is better than the 53. If it's dry hard pack or tacky hard pack, you'll like the 53 better. So a lot of it, this is obviously dependent on the soil you're, you're riding. You're gonna have to make that determination. The 53 rear, amazing when it's hard, hard pack. Okay, it's just the way the tire's designed, it gets a little bit more of a footprint down the ground, more knobs, more rubber touching the surface, gives you better grip. Um, great wear factor because it is designed for that hard pack dirt. Um, awesome tire when it's hard. And then the 53 front, I've talked about this already. Uh, I like this a lot from the medium terrain all the way down to hard pack or anything that's kind of in between. It's one weak spot for me, again, is if you have quite a bit of loose over that hard base, because it doesn't bite in as deep, it's a shallower lug, or if they put a lot of water down. If you're at a place where it rains a lot or they constantly put water down, it's a little greasy in those conditions. So, you know, this is a lot like surfing or mountain bike or anything else. If you really want the very best setup, you're gonna need to have a spare set of wheels. And you know, a lot of guys here at Glen Hill and you wanna start with a 14 rear and a 3S front, and then maybe by 11 o'clock, go to a 33 and a 53, or maybe you leave that 3S on all day. But um, to get the very best performance, a track changes too much throughout the day, typically to just have one tire and expect to have it perform perfectly. If you can do it, it's great to have a spare wheel, especially a rear, because the 14 is way better out of the start uh, but as a track really breaks down and becomes hard pack, you're gonna wanna go to that 33 or 53 later, depending on how hard it gets. All right guys, so to recap what we mentioned earlier and kinda everything I saw on the track today and felt, confirmed what I talked about earlier. We started with a 14 rear and a 33 front and uh, track was nice and soft. For the starts, it's a no brainer. The 14 accelerates better in a straight line. It's not even close. Uh, so you have to just weigh that with how hard is the track getting are you, are you willing to give up a little bit of that spin on the hard, shiny stuff, if there is some, in order to get the start? Can you run the cushion, kind of find wider lines? That's what you need to do with the 14 if you're gonna run it all day, if your track's condition, is, is conditions are going more to a hard pack medium. Again, it works great. A lot of the stuff when you're on the side of the tire works just as well as the 33, in my opinion, on that hard stuff. It's just when you get it in a straight line, it can't bite into anything, so it spins a little more. The 33 will grab a little better. Um, as the track today progressed into becoming a little more firm, uh, I still like the 3S front uh, from soft, muddy, all the way down to pretty hard. The 3S is the best performing front. I like it better than the 33 everywhere, okay, front. I like the 53 better when it starts getting a hard, hard base. There's spots where we're down to that shiny stuff and a little bit of dust over the top of that hard. That 53 just really digs in better and holds better. But when they put water on it or you get soft stuff, the 53 definitely moves more than the 3S. My complement of tires, I, I, I would say if I'm going medium to hard, I like a 33 rear with a 53 front, which I've been preaching for a long time. If it's a softer track, I definitely like the 14 with the 3S. And I can run that into a, a medium for sure and not have any problems. When it starts getting really hard packed and baked, that's when I need to make the switch down. And then if you are running like a Carl's Bad, I'll use for example, something that's just rock hard, dry, the 53 front and rear is the best. So it's very extremely hard and dry or, or tacky and, dry, and packed and hard. So those are kind of your options. Like I said, if you can afford an extra rear wheel or a set of wheels, for racing, that's the best solution because you can have 
14 and a 3S mounted up with a 33 and a 53 uh, on, your, on your spare wheels. Start with the soft stuff at the early part of the day as the track packs and gets harder. Make that switch as you're watching it and you decide it's time. Uh, but you know, we talk a lot about how important starts are in a race. That 14 works way better off the start. That's why guys like Eli Tomac choose to stick with it even when it's maybe a little bit of a disadvantage on the track in spots. If he gets a start, he knows he can run the cushion. He can kind of find lines that are still soft and make it work on the track. Um, and starting out front makes his job a whole lot easier. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys kind of have an idea of what each tire does better, what it excels in, and uh, keep this as a reference. Dunlop is, uh, in my opinion, making the best tires out there. They're, they're committed to this sport at an amateur and professional level, and uh, I love to see it, and I'm happy to support them. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have uh, more interesting content coming up here at Whiskey Throttle Media.